welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Sai, I am 24, I am Irish, and I am here to talk about my houseplants. <laughs> I don't have a massive collection yet, I just have what I have. I have 50 plus, I think. I'm making this channel just to talk about what I love. Because, you know, what better thing to do during a pandemic than make videos about what you love. I will mainly be talking about houseplants and houseplant care, but who knows, if people want to get to know me better, I'll talk about other stuff as well. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be going through what I have so far. I do live in an apartment with another plant parent, so I'm just going to be kind of skimming over his plants and just mainly focusing on my ones. So the majority of my plants are in my bedroom, but I do have a few in the sitting room as well. We'll just go through what we have in here first and then I'll bring you in. Okay, so here is a little 360 of my tiny little box room. Here's me, what's up? So we'll start over in the furthest point from the window, which I have my spath of phylum, my pisali. Uh, this was the first plant I ever got and it's doing really well where it is. I'm very happy that it's a low light plant. Just below that, I have a spider plant uh, propagation from my mother plant. That's been growing like crazy as well. Um, over here I have two Camadoria elegans, um, two parlor palms. I bought one of them and then my roommate bought one for himself. Didn't particularly like it so he gave it to me. So now I have two and when they get a little bit bigger I might actually just plant them together in one big pot. Who knows? Above my wardrobe, which is probably the lowest light point in my room just because it's quite dark up there. I have my mother spider plant which has started to create some little babies, some more. So once they are big enough, once that one's big enough, if it grows some more great, but I'm gonna water propagate it and then plant it. Have another little baby. Just below that in little macrame plant hangers that I make, I have a Hartley philodendron that my friend gave to me. And I also have a neon pothos. It's getting nice and big. So then over here we have a Senecio rolianus, my string of pearls, that just keeps on going. It has grown a lot since I've gotten it. It's such a beautiful plant. Next up I have a Carapegia Woody eye, I think. Um, I'm probably pronouncing these very wrong. There's my string of hearts. This is a wishlist plant. I'm very happy that I got it because it is stunning. Beside that is another wishlist plant. I have a Skindapsis pictus, my silver pothos, which since I've gotten it, it just, it has grown so much since I've gotten it. I'm very excited for that to start draping down more and creating a little curtain of leaves. And right beside that I have a philodendron Brazil, which has grown twice the size um, since I've gotten it. A little brand new un unfurled leaf. I am cute as hell. Um, I also have a little air plant. I do not know what kind it is. I'm not very good at r with air plants. Um, but I will hopefully learn soon because I want to get more. <laughs> um, down from that I have a Aglonemia dark pink star that is absolutely beautiful and has a little new leaf. I also have a little tiny Boston fern. I'm not a big fan of ferns. I have two of them but you know what can you do? You always end up buying a plant that you don't really want. <laughs> um, beside that I have an Alocasia poly with the most beautiful leaves I've ever seen. They're very Jurassic looking. My, my, myself and my roommate will always talk about how Jurassic looking they're. This is brand new, I only got this recently. And then, just below that, I have a very, very, very small um, Ficus elastica tenaki. I have two ficus elasticas. This is just my very tiny baby one. And it's so cute. And beside that, I have my Syngonium white butterfly. 
This is one of my favourite plants. I absolutely love Syngoniums. I love any vining plant just because it gives that kind of jungle vibe and I love I love that I love that vibe. I want them to drape and like cascade. So I'm going for I fell in love with Syngoniums as soon as I saw my first one. And then I have my Dracaena marginata, little dragon tree. Um it's doing well. It's cute. She's there. And then behind that I have a Sansevieria, as every single plant parent has or plant collector has. I always have at least one Sansevieria. I want to get more. They're really cool looking plants. And they're so easy to take care of as well. Down here I have a cute little variegated bear paw succulent, which I only got the other day. He's so fuzzy. He's so cute. And then I have a polka dot plant propagation. The mother plant is in the sitting room. Yeah, it hasn't produced any roots yet, but it also hasn't died, so I'm holding out for it to get some roots so I can replant it with this mother. And then I also have a Ficus benjamina, a little weeping fig. Very common houseplant, but so very beautiful. I love these leaves. I love the variegation. That one's stunning. There you go. And now I'll bring you into my sitting room. So now we are in the sitting room slash kitchen. Uh, my roommate does own a lot of the plants in here as well, but I'm just going to skip over all of his and just show off what I own. So yeah, here we go. So this is the sitting room. Lots of natural lighting in this room, which is great. Um, these are all my roommates. So I have five here I have what I think is a Syngonium Gold Illusion but it didn't say it on the pot so I'm not 100% sure but from looking at photos of Syngonium Gold Illusions I think it is that it's cute though I also have a Pothos Enjoy which is shooting out some new leaves I have a Golden Pothos, which is one of my favourites. Um, I'm very excited for this to get super long and drapey. Um, I also have a False African Violet that I got from my grandmother and a, an Orchid that I also got from my grandmother. I'm not entirely sure what kind of Orchid it is. Um, she didn't tell me the name of it, but apparently the flowers smell really pretty. So I'm excited for that. Now over here I have my little foliage table and then I have my cacti and succulent garden, I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm not too good with the names of succulents and cacti, so I don't know any of their um, scientific names. I know, I'm 99% sure this is an aloe areostata, um, but I can't be certain if you know, please, if someone knows. Um, Write a comment, let me know. This is a tiger aloe that my grandmother gave me. It did have flowers, but the flowers are gone now. I have my little string of pearls propagation. My uh, Senecio rolianus propagation. That's doing quite well. It likes this spot. I have some flowers drying. And now I have um, my little table of plants. So I have a Monstera adansoni, which has gotten twice the size. Um, it has grown twice the size since I got it. Um, just popping out new leaves left, right and centre. There is the mother polka dot plant that I have the propagation for. It's absolutely gorgeous. It even has a cute little flower. I didn't know that these plants did flower and I'm very excited about it because that means I'm doing something right. I have two Fetonias. I'm not mad on Fetonias. I may actually be giving these to my grandmother because I feel like she would like them a lot more than I would. I have my other Ficus Elastica, the Robusta. She also has a new little leaf coming in. And I have a Peperomia Rosso as well, which was in terrible condition when I got it, but I have brought it back from 
the brink of death. And now over here I have a blue star fern, which again, I'm not mad about ferns, but I have one. Um, I'm probably going to give that to my roommate because he might like it a lot better than I would. And then up here I have a I have another aglonemia, at an aglonemia maria, which really likes this spot actually. It's doing a lot better than it was. Um, it used to be in my bedroom, but now it's doing a lot better since I put it here. Yeah, but that's it. That is my entire plant collection. Um, my little plant tour. So that is the complete tour of all of the house plants that I own. Um, I have 54 at the moment, but I'm hoping that that will grow to a much larger number soon. Um, thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon.